Okay, here I'm going to do a few examples of how to solve problems using trigonometry. Example one, we have a triangle, as shown, with a smaller triangle drawn inside it. Notice that this side here is 200 long. Uh, it's got an angle of 37 degrees here, an angle of 61 over here, and they have a mystery height called y, and they have a mystery distance here called x. And our job in this example is to calculate x and y correct to one decimal place. Now, the key here is whenever you're faced with a problem like this, you need to read the question a few times and look carefully at the picture. And in the picture, if you see more than one triangle, I want you to get into the habit of splitting the shape into triangles. Imagine cutting the shape up into triangles and drawing each triangle on its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this left hand triangle on its own. Just a sketch. It doesn't have to be drawn accurately. And I can tell it's a right angle triangle because of this. This here, the height here is Y. And I know that this side here is 200. And I know the angle that's here is 37 degrees. And I've also got a triangle here, I can shade it in, that I'm going to draw over here on its own, like this. And can I point out that this angle here would also be 90? Now, how do I know that? Well, up here, this angle here, 90 plus 90 adds up to 180, which is a straight line. And because this is a straight line, I know that these both these angles must be 90. This distance here is y. The distance on the bottom is x. I don't know this guy. And I know this angle is 61 degrees. So that's the first step. We break our triangle into smaller triangles. The next thing is we look at both triangles and we ask ourselves, are they right angle triangles? And yes, they are. So once they're right angle triangles, that means that possibly, possibly, we can use Pythagoras or Sokotoa. Keep that in mind. If there's a right angle triangle, this is right angle and this is right angle, we may be able to use Pythagoras or Sokotoa. What I want you to do next is look at the two triangles and ask yourself, which triangle has more information? Which triangle do we know more about? For example, in this triangle, I know a length and I know an angle. And I know another angle, actually. And in this one, I only know an angle and an angle. I don't know any of the sides. So this seems to be, this seems to be the one that has more information. This has got more info. So let's start with the triangle that has more information first. Let's start with the triangle that has more information. So to start off, I label my triangle. Because this is a right angle, I call this H. And because 37 is the angle that I know, I'm going to call this over here O and this A. So I have O, H and A. I'm going to check, can I use Pythagoras' theorem here to find out what Y is? Well, the answer is no. Why? Because I don't know this side. For Pythagoras' theorem to work, I need to know two of the sides. Here, I only know one of the sides. So what I'm going to do is try and use Sokotoa. Now, a bit like our previous work, we need to decide which one we're going to use. I want to know what Y is, which is O. I know what H is. So which one has O and H in it? It's sine. So then I say sine. 37 degrees is equal to O over H. So the sine of 37 degrees will be my O number, which is Y, over my H number, which is 200. Notice my letter is on top. So to get rid of a divide by 200, I multiply by 200. So Y is going to be 200 multiplied by sine 37. And I can put that into my calculator. Make sure my calculator is on degree mode. 200 sine 37 degrees equals 120.36 120.36 now they want to correct to one decimal place so i'm going to write y is equal to 120.4 and there's no units given in this one so there's one of my answers 
Now, whenever you've discovered new information on these questions, I want us to update our picture. What do I mean by updating our picture? We've just discovered y is 120.4, so I go back to my pictures, and wherever I see y, I'm gonna write 120.4. Look, here's another one, 120.4, and up here, 120.4. Now I turn my attention to the other triangle, and you'll notice that now I have more information because I know what y is. I still cannot use Pythagoras' theorem on this because I only know one of the sides. So I'm gonna label my triangle. If this is my right angle, this is h. There's 61, so this is O, and this here is A. I'm going to tick the one that I know. I know what uh, Y is or O is, it's 120.4. I want to know what X is. So which one of Sokotoa has O and A in it? And the answer is tan. So I say tan of 61 degrees is O over A. So the tan of 61 degrees will be my O number, which is 120.4 divided by my a number, which is x. Now here's an example of one where the letter's on the bottom. Remember what we do, we cross multiply. x multiplied by tan 61 is equal to 120.4, and then x will be 120.4 divided by tan 61. And I can do this on my calculator. So I'm gonna put fraction, um, 120.4, and um, over tan 61 and press equals and up comes 66.738 now they want to correct to one decimal place so this is 66.7 so there is my other answer i've discovered that uh, y is 120.4 and x is going to be 66.7